I actually done the buccal fat removal, the blepharoplasty, liposuction, and tummy tuck all at the same time. So that was my mistake. And I've had quite a few surgeries. I actually have a TikTok explaining everything that I've done. My friends were saying like, oh my God, you, like Jay, what if you just die trying to get a fat ass? It's just unbelievable that that's going on. For an entire year, I lied about having a BBL. I was just like, okay, if I want this dream man, I need to have this dream body. You've probably heard loads about turkey surgery and you might even have friends who've had it. But what's it actually like to go under the knife abroad? I want to know why so many people come to Turkey for cosmetic surgery and the way the industry has become more inviting to people like us in our 20s. How did you go from the hospital to the hotel without sitting down? So that trip specifically was the very worst one. 40 minutes of literally me just kneeling on the hard ground, bent over the chair. My knees felt like they're going to fall off. You can't really miss the endless videos on our social media of people talking about their cosmetic surgery. Six months ago today, I flew to Turkey, Istanbul to get a boob job. Both the good and the bad. I open my camera and there's blood gushing from my eyelid. We've been chatting with young people, surgeons and experts about this multi-billion dollar industry. Angelina Jolie, Michaela Testa, Bella Hadid, Nicki Minaj, like they wanted to look like her. That offers everything from hair transplants and veneers to nose jobs, BBLs, lipo and so much more. You might just think that her waist is really itty bitty. It's honestly just what I strive for in life. So come with us as we enter the world of turkey surgery. Meet Laura. She's 22 from Latvia and lives in Dublin. She's had millions of views on her TikTok about her cosmetic surgeries. Since growing her following, she now works with a clinic in Turkey. She refers some of her followers who want surgery to them. So the first time I thought about having surgery abroad was when I was 17, 18, and I always wanted a breast augmentation for my whole entire life. I was always bullied for having a flat chest and it was just a dream of mine. So I told my mom, as soon as I turn 18, I'm gonna get a breast augmentation. So the first time I had surgery in Turkey was about two to three years ago. It was actually during COVID, I had my BBL. So I found it very easy, the whole process. I just went onto the doctor's Instagram and I messaged one of the patient coordinators and they got back to me pretty quickly and I just asked as many questions as I wanted to everything was answered I booked my flights I paid the de deposit and I was on my way after talking to Laura it seems pretty easy to book a surgery in Turkey you just go online find the surgeon and send them a message but how do you know that the surgeon you're contacting is legit? I think people favor uh, doctors that have a higher social media following. Um, and actually, I'm not gonna name any names, <laughs> but um, there is a few surgery practices in Istanbul that have like 300,000 followers, a lot of followers. And all the influencers, celebrities go there and they're one of the worst places. So don't be fooled by the followers because followers does not equal quality. But when you start looking, there are so many clinics and so many reviews that it's hard to know who to trust. I decided to contact a few clinics in Turkey to see what the process of booking is really like. The clinics got back to me on WhatsApp within hours of sending the initial request for a BBL and a nose job. I was immediately asked for medical information and to send photos of my face and body, which was so awkward. Without even asking, the clinics were offering discounts and packages. It was like they wanted us to book ASAP. One clinic said I could have the BBL, nose job and buccal fat removal in one procedure. They said I would get an additional £1,000 discount for booking so many surgeries at once. We showed these messages to a senior plastic surgeon in the UK and he said, It's just unbelievable that that's going on. Um, I, I'm truly astonished by all of that. I, I knew I knew there were some examples. I hadn't looked into it in that detail myself, but the, the way that patients are being persuaded and preyed upon is just dreadful. Don't worry, guys. I'm not actually going to book a surgery in Turkey, but I am going to catch a flight to Istanbul to see what these clinics are really like. Ever since we got to Turkey, it's quite mad, but there's literally so many clinics, so many doctor signs. So it's quite clear that Istanbul is a big hotspot. So right now we're in a part of Istanbul called Shishli, and we're going to be speaking to someone who's just had a BBL, and we're going to watch her in her massage session, which might be a bit awkward, but we'll see how that goes. We don't know if we're going the right way, so we'll find out when the lift opens. <laughs> 
Vai. <laughs> no, wait, this isn't right because we need to be going to Ersen. Once we worked out where we were supposed to be going, we finally managed to meet 20 year old JE who recently had a BBL. And I'm like, yeah, I feel lighter afterwards. And like, cause like after the surgery, you get so swollen. It just like, no, it just makes me feel better knowing mm -hmm. that I'm doing something to help with that. So what did your friends and family think about you having the BBL surgery? So my parents actually do not know that I'm getting surgery or that I've had surgery. They just think I'm like solo traveling right now in like, I think they think I'm in Venice. Okay, yeah. so they don't know that you've come to Turkey for a BBL? No. Nah. And why did you choose Turkey to have your procedure? Uh, I've just heard great things about plastic surgery, especially Brazilian butt lifts in Turkey. It's like the number one place for it. Did you try and find a clinic in Australia to do your BBL? Yeah, but so basically I got my consultation with the doctor that I really, really wanted to go with and he advised that I shouldn't get it done. I didn't have enough body fat on me. Was there any celebrity that influenced you to have the surgery? Oh, definitely Michaela Testa, all the way. She is my like vision board, what I want to look like. And do you know, do you know for certain that she's had a BBL? Yeah, okay. she's talked about it. Oh, like, I see. People would compliment her and she'd be like, don't thank me, thank my surgeon. For an entire year, I lied about having a BBL. I would tell all of my followers that I had no plastic surgery when in reality, I was just lying. Now that you've gone through the process, do you feel like you know now what it was really like? I knew about the like the surgery being the highest fatality rate, like basically worldwide. What my friends were saying, like, oh my God, you, like Jay, what if you just die trying to get a fat ass, you know? And I, even knowing all this going in, I still don't feel like I was fully prepared for what it was really gonna be like because I'm thinking about the festivals that I'm going to in literally months time and I'm like, am I gonna to have to wear my compression garments to the festival? Cause I like my skimpy little tops and stuff. I got asked on a date to go to a restaurant and I was like, oh, I actually can't sit. I can't, you know, have a little sit down dinner whenever I want for another like six weeks. After chatting with JE and obviously taking a Be Real, we sat down with Lena, a sales manager at Clinic Wise, the same clinic JE booked her BBL with. What kind of procedures are people in their 20s looking to have in Turkey? Mostly, like, again, for them, it's also 360 lipo or the safe BBL procedure since they want to change their body directly. Our medical director, Dr. Ersen, he's doing daily two safe BBL surgeries. Like, it's combined with the 360 lipo plus the fat injection, the safe BBL procedure. So when I was looking at uh, BBLs, it came up immediately. So our National Health Service mm -hmm. guidance, it said that BBLs are one of the most dangerous cosmetic procedures. What would you, your response be to that? So I think it's depending also on the technique, depends also on the medical history of the patient, the aftercare process, how the patient is taking care after that, uh, and then later about the experience of the doctor. But there is no surgery without any complication risks. Like JE, Lara was quite young when she had her BBL in Turkey just 19 years old. So how would you describe your experience having cosmetic surgery in Turkey in general? I would say it, it was really good. Um, I had some little moments that were, you know, a little bit scary, you can say, but I think that's, these things happen in surgery and they happen all the time. When I had my blepharoplasty on my eyes, one of my stitches bust open and there was just a lot of blood, my eye got infected, I was extremely swollen. I actually done the buccal fat removal, the blepharoplasty, liposuction and tummy tuck all at the same time. So that was my mistake actually doing so many procedures at once. I had to keep on pressing the bell for the nurses to come to help me and they were just getting so irritated with me, so annoyed. It's kind of scary because you feel so alone. Even though Lara said she was mostly happy with her surgeries in Turkey, the fact she was able to have so many procedures at once does raise alarm bells. There's been a lot of headlines recently about people's experiences having botched surgeries in Turkey. The British government even updated its travel advice to say it was aware of 24 British nationals who have died following medical visits to Turkey. So we sat down with a surgeon to talk about this. Now, of course, there are many well-trained plastic cosmetic surgeons in Turkey providing a great service. But we don't know that they're all like that. We don't know what their record is like. There are many 
parts of that pathway which I have concern about. There are a lot of uh, companies in Turkey who are performing any kind of surgeries. Some of them are, you know, uh, qualified. Some of them are not. It's making our reputation bad also because, you know, <laughs> Uh, they are in Turkey and we are in Turkey and because of the, the, this kind of companies our reputation is uh, getting harmed we are trying to do something trying to, to force the government do something about it Buju is a medical negligence lawyer in the UK helping people who have had botch surgeries in Turkey I am the expert for Turkish medical negligence claims. When about seven years ago, people started contacting me saying, listen, I've had this surgery in Turkey. I have no one to go. I want to get my money back and I want money for my upcoming procedures. Can you help me? And there's some sort of a shame factor to it. Unfortunately, you know, people who have these plastic surgeries, if it goes wrong, they don't want to really talk about it. So in your opinion, is it safe for people to go to Turkey to have cosmetic surgery? Listen, I think it's perfectly safe to go to Turkey to have plastic surgery, any kind of surgery, really. Turkish healthcare is great, but do your research. Do not go find a doctor based on some TikTok or Instagram page before and afters. That's the key thing, I think. Get ready with me while I rate my plastic surgeries from most painful to least painful. And what advice would you give to anyone considering cosmetic surgery in Turkey? So I would definitely say do your research on the doctor. Just make sure that they have the right certification, they have the right reviews. You just mentioned that you don't plan to have any more surgeries. Why is that? I think I'm finally happy with how I look and I'm trying to focus more as well on kind of the stuff on the inside because I think I was so consumed by the physical appearance. Um, so just trying to do more inner work. And now that I've had this surgery, I think I'm gonna take a step back and just sort of rethink why I want so many body modifications. And I feel like I need to work on myself a little more before I get back into this because I'm not sure if it's quite like well thought through or if I'm just, you know, making rash decisions. <laughs> In many parts of the world, more and more people are getting cosmetic surgery. Social media, celebrities and internet culture has meant it's become normalised. And while the cosmetic boom in Turkey shows no sign of slowing down, there's still a lot that needs to be done to keep people safe. I know a lot of people who are around my age in their 20s are looking to get any kind of plastic surgery done. My friend, all of them come to Turkey to do the nose job, the uh, lip filler, the chin filler, and I myself consider it. My son. He's planning to come out here, he wants to come out here um, to do a hair transplant, he, he, heard it, he heard it was cheaper. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. I've literally learned so much speaking to so many people about this industry in Turkey and it's been a pretty cool experience. I'm sweating so badly, it is so hot here, but in the meantime, can you like the video, comment, tell me all your thoughts and hopefully I'll see you soon. I'm a beauty, can't nobody tell me I'm beautiful. I'm a beauty, can't nobody tell me I'm beautiful I'm a beauty, can't nobody tell me I'm beautiful I'm a beauty, can't nobody tell me I'm beautiful Fresh face, fresh smile, I ain't seen nobody like me in a while Fruitful, flourishing, and fulfilling Ignis through the ceiling, confidence in the building Ain't no way I'm satisfied with the beginning Wanna see what it's like, pop out with the spinach That's what you gotta know, if you weak then you gotta go What you see ain't what you get, cause I got a lot to show like a throwback Usually they wait till you for nothing and they come back I've been feeling for myself, I'm in this space like a hallway And it ain't nothing out of place, speak on my feelings Step aside, watch them fall right on their face, uh Some like it better when you blind Some like it better when you out of time or when you fragile I ain't tripping cause I know this life mine I ain't tripping, take it one day at a time I'm a beauty, baby I'm a beauty Can't nobody tell me I'm